Good afternoon to all you parents and learners out there. Thank you again for watching Mismatch English lessons during the lockdown. And yes, we are back again and making sure that you are given a learning process throughout this uh, lockdown. So this week we will be dealing with writing a story. Now writing a story is a whole process. You can't just start today and say, okay, here's my story, I'm done. We're dealing with the first draft, second draft, and then we edit and then we come to the final draft. So this week we are dealing with different segments of writing a story. Okay, just before we start writing your own story, uh, there are a few questions that you need to answer about the story I'm going to read for you. And now today we are dealing with a collection of Roald Dahl, as you can see over there, sponsored by Opilum Tabani. And so today I'll be reading from Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. And uh, you will see that in this story, there is a series of short stories. So I'm only going to read two for you just for the time of sake. And before I start reading, uh, let's go on to the questions that you need to be looking out for just so that you can answer them after I've read the story for you. All right, what is the title of the story? Name the characters in the story. Discuss the cover page. What ideas uh, does it give of the story? So when you look at the cover page, what do you think the story is about? All right, that's what you need to do. And then more questions are, name the three farmers. Who steals the farmer's food? What does each farmer farm? Where does the fox live? Name the characters in Mr. Fox. Now, this means that you need to pay careful attention to what I'm reading so that you are able to answer the questions at the end of the story. Before I start off with the story, let me introduce the characters. Now, keep in mind that not all these characters are included in the short stories but in the rest of the book they are okay mr fox miss fox the small foxes beggar boogies bean buns the first story that i'll be reading is the three farmers the three farmers down in the valley there were three farms the owner of these farms had done well. They were rich men. They were also nasty men. All three of them were about as nasty and mean as any men you could meet. Their names were Farmer Boogies, Farmer Buns and Farmer Bean. Boogies was a chicken farmer. He kept thousands of chickens. He was enormously fat. This was because he ate three boiled chickens smothered with dumplings every day for breakfast, lunch, and supper. Buns was a duck and goose farmer. He kept thousands of ducks and geese. He was a kind of pot-bellied dwarf. He was so short his chin would have been underwater in the shallow end of any swimming pool in the world. His food was donuts and goose livers. He mashed the livers into a disgusting paste and then stuffed the paste into the donuts. This diet gave him a tummy ache and a beastly temper. Bean was a turkey and apple farmer. He kept thousands of turkeys in an orchard full of apple trees. He never ate any food at all. Instead, he drank gallons of strong cider, which he made from the apples in his orchard. He was as thin as a pencil and the cleverest of them all. Boogies and buns and beans, one fat, one short, one lean. These horrible crooks, so different in looks, were none the less equal mean. That is what the children round about used to sing when they saw them. Short story number two. 
Mr. Fox. On a hill above the valley, there was a wood. In the wood, there was a huge tree. Under the tree, there was a hole. In the hole lived Mr. Fox and Mrs. Fox and their four small foxes. Every evening, as soon as it got dark, Mr. Fox would say to Miss Fox, Well, my darling, what shall it be this time? A plump chicken from Boogie's, a duck or a goose from Buns, or a nice turkey from Bean. And when Miss Fox had told him what she wanted, Mr. Fox would creep down into the valley in the darkness of the night and help himself. Boogies and buns and Bean knew very well what was going on and it made them wild with rage. There were not men who liked to give anything away, less still that they like anything to be stolen from them. So every night each of them would take his shotgun and hide in the dark place somewhere on his own farm hoping to catch the robber. But Mr. Fox was too clever for them. He always approached a farm with the wind blowing in his face and this meant that if any man were lurking in the shadow ahead, the wind would carry the smell of that man to Mr. Fox's nose from far away. Thus, if Mr. Boogies was hiding behind his chicken house number one, Mr. Fox would smell him out from 50 yards, often quickly change direction, heading for chicken house number four at the other end of the farm. Dang and blast that lousy beast, cried Boogies. I'd like to rip his guts out, said Buns. He must be killed, cried Bean. But how, said Boogies, how on earth can we catch that blighter? Bean picked his nose delicately with a long finger. I have a plan, he said. You've never had a decent plan yet said Buns. Shut up and listen, said Beans. Tomorrow night we will all hide just outside the hole where the fox lives. We will wait there until he comes out. Then bang, 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 bang. Ah, oh, very clever, said Buns. But first we shall have to find the hole. My dear Buns, I've already found it, said the crafty bean. It is up in the wood on the hill. It's under a huge tree. All right, that's it for today. Remember the questions? Name the three farmers. Who steals from the farmer's food? What does each farmer farm? Where does the fox live? Name the characters in Mr. Fox. Let's begin. Elements of a short story. Setting, characterization, plot, conflict, uh, climax, resolution, theme, and point of view. Now remember the climax. If the story starts here, so from the beginning, it moves up, up, up until the peak of event. That's what we call the climax. And from then on, the story drops. Okay, just to explain a bit further, the setting is the time and place in which the story happens. For example, we had uh, uh, Mr. Booger and all of them. Where did it happen? It happened in their farms. Plot. This is a series of events through which the writer reveals what is happening to whom and why. Now let's take the story of Mr. Fox. He goes about to steal the meat, which is the chicken or the turkey from the farmers. So we are showing the different series of him moving from one farm to another. 
Now remember about the plot. You have the beginning, middle, and end. So the beginning is the introduction. Here in the introduction, usually we get to hear about the different characters. We get to hear what is happening and also where is it happening. So meaning we introduce characters and the setting. Middle, it explains more and gives us a series of events, which is the plot itself. And at the end, we've got the conclusion. Now, remember in the middle also, we get introduced to the problem. What problems are the characters facing in the story? And at the end, we get a solution for the different problems. All right, then we've got characterization. In simple term, it is the characters. So meaning that you come up with imaginary characters in the story. The theme, this is the story's main ideas, the message the writer intends to communicate by telling the story. So with the theme, a theme can either be love, it can be betrayal, it can be lust, it can be jealousy, whatever is the main thing that is popping out of the story, that is your theme. Conflict is the problem. So it is a problem in the story that needs to be resolved. And then just to explain it more, problem is something that is causing trouble for one or more of the characters. Resolution. This is the story action after the climax until the end of the story, which is the conclusion. So basically in a nutshell, it is the end of of the story and also remember every time you come to the end it's where the, uh, the um, writer intends to give us the moral of the story or the message of the so story. So you will see that so after uh, you've done this whole lesson you need to write me a whole story so meaning that you're going to look back into the different uh, lessons that I've posted where we are dealing with eight parts of speech these things you're going to need when writing your own story. Remember to be creative. Remember your story needs to begin. It has to have a middle and it has to have an end. So you need to write me a two paragraph story out of five lines each, six sentences each, and you can write about anything. And remember the characters can be animals representing humans. So you don't just need to have human beings as human beings. So yes, learners, let's be creative. Let's write our stories. Keep safe. Keep washing your hands. And remember, Miss Smash is here for you during the lockdown with her English lessons. Thank you.